There's a formula to covering a rock concert in this town. Get a reporter who isn't a rocker and send him out there. News for Soul and Gray was our square for the day, so we offered him the opening of the new amphitheater at Bayfront Park with Chuck Berry. Can you believe it? I got him to send me out here by pretending I don't dance. Just watch. That's me with the shirt off down there, right in front of the big guy in the back row. So this is Bayfront Park back a year or so ago before Bayside and all the new digs. And this is the inside of the new amphitheater today with the rocking crowd and Chuck Berry. Remember him from the 50s yet? Here's a sample of my footwork while I did this report. This concert hall on the hillside is only part of the unfinished $30 million park. A 10-year project. When it's done in two months, it'll have sculptures and trees and fountains. But none of the concerts will be more loved than this one today. There I am again, rocking right behind those guys. Even this little girl loves Chuck Berry. Did Mom and Dad have anything to do with it? Yeah. <laughs> yes. I thought so. How old were you when you first heard Chuck Berry? One day. I don't want to say. <laughs> it's great. It's great here. This is a beautiful place to see a concert. It's the city's all around you. It's it's casual. It's a great place, and he's a great rocker. That he is, and only a few thousand of us got to refresh our memories with him today. There I am again, right up on the stage, on the left over there. This new Bayfront Park Amphitheater will hold close to 12,000 people. When Chuck Berry comes back here, or anyone else, this park will mean a great deal to Miami. Solon Gray, News 4. Boy, he was everywhere. He was, and for a guy with a bad back, he can really <laughs> dance, too.